Hello everybody, this is Clara Skyly, excited to welcome a new entrepreneur and author founder to the Beyond Influence video series where we bring these inspiring people to the forefront with their ideas, with their message to change the world. And today we welcome Alp Bora. Alp is a mining and metals expert and he helps mining companies improve their production throughput and achieve operational excellence. He spent over 10 years as an operations and maintenance professional across multiple commodities. He is a founder of Mining is the Future, and he's passionate about making mining greener, more sustainable, and more attractive for new generations. He is creating a movement to transform the role as well as the future of the mining industry. Hi, Cloris. Nice to be here. How are you? Great, excited to have you here on the show because this is something that most people don't really think about, uh, mining, right? So how, how does mining impact our day-to-day -day lives? Yeah, nobody thinks about mining. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, I moved from a uh, mining town to, uh, to Chicago, actually, U.S. Uh, and when I introduce myself, I tell people I work in mining industry and they say, oh, that's so cool, you work in crypto. <laughs> I said, no, uh, no, the, the, the real thing, the mining industry, you know, <laughs> where we make metals and minerals to build those computers for you guys to mine <laughs> crypto. Uh, yes, so nobody really thinks about it. And there's a big misunderstanding or lack of understanding of what mining does and why we do what we do. Yeah, definitely. Um, so then I'm thinking if, if most people are not really aware of how mining is essential really for day-to-day -day life, what, yes. what about you? What, how did you become so passionate about it? I came to mining industry by accident, really. I'm a mechanical engineer by education, um, studied in Montreal, Canada. Uh, McGill universities. I was a mechanical engineer, want to be a mechanical engineer, always loved aerospace, uh, kind of kid that, you know, go to airports, staring at the plane engines for like 30 minutes before getting the plane. Um, then the reality hit. We were four or 500 students at university and mechanical engineers all want to be rocket science, right? Then couldn't get an internship, couldn't get a job. Uh, my third year then, then we had a mining department in McGill, the second floor, you know, we had uh, like 30 students nobody knows anything about that department and they said that you know uh, come do a minor with us and we'll uh, help you get an internship i said yeah sign me up this is how i got into mining get my minor in mining engineering specialization in mining and what a what an amazing opportunity yeah. Uh, I loved it. So my first internship was with the mining industry, in mining industry, mining companies, an operational uh, role in, in, a, in a remote location, of course. Mm -hmm. But this is how I, I started in the mining industry. And it was, a, it was a, I never questioned after that. You know, I didn't want to go any, anywhere else. I wanted to stay in mining. And I had chance to, after that internship, got another position, another mining company where we opened an open pit iron ore mine and uh, yeah since then it's been what 11 12 years now I've been in the mining industry and really the this mining is the future movement that we are trying to create with, with a couple other um uh, like-minded professionals who are really passionate about the mining the point is that what we're trying to do is pay back our respect to the industry really we believe we might be a bit biased but we believe mining is cool we just want to show how awesome it is to other people as well and and to show the why also why we do what we do how it is impacting our day-to-day -day life yeah. definitely yeah. that is that is awesome uh, i love your mission and uh, also i love the fact that you bring up something that doesn't seem to go together when you don't know about mining when you think mining and the word sustainable you say, oh, no, that, that just cannot be, that cannot happen. Yeah. But yeah. it's actually possible, right? It sounds like an oxymoron, right? When you say sustainable mining, well, wait a minute, you are digging a ground the hole, take metals, and you, like, no. So our message, well, what we're trying to do is, say is, 
all our efforts for renewable energy, the wind turbines, the solar panels, they need metals and minerals. You know, with the electric vehicles, we are seeing in the news, Elon Musk is planning to buy a mine, lithium mining company like Elon Musk. Uh, so we, we, we see the need for metals and minerals for the renewable energy that we're trying to do for a sustainable future, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to stay away from the fossil fuels. So, so the message is really, it's a chicken and egg situation. We need metals and minerals too for this renewable technologies. But guess what? We need those technologies back in the mining to make it yeah. more sustainable. And the decarbonization is the word right now. Uh, I don't know if... Um, um, you heard the term decarbonization in the mining industry. It's the buzzword right now since last year. I'm, I'm very happy it's a buzzword, highly needed. It basically tells how can we reduce our footprints, carbon footprints during our production. That's beautiful. And I'm very happy that it has become a more buzzword and I'm seeing more LinkedIn yeah. ads and in the companies that we are working here, uh, more and more companies talking about ESG and decarbonization, those things are becoming more uh, regular uh, yeah. terms. Which is great news, as you said. It's a very happy news for the industry. So, oh, far away. We are far, far away from where we were 10 years ago. I mean, definitely. It's uh, wow. yeah. again, in my short career, I can see that, that transition. And it's just great news. We need to do more. And I think we, we, we are getting there. So what are you, because you're the founder of Mining is the Future, and you're, you know, as you said, you're coming together with like-minded professionals just to, to bring awareness of the importance of the industry, to, to really change uh, the culture, I would say, around it. Um, so how are you planning on doing that, Alp? Correct. The mining is the future uh, is a term that I came up with I want it to be a little bit controversial because I'm just thinking about my uh, discussions in Montreal, a coffee place, a bunch of uh, my environmental friends. And, uh, you know, we were always saying, oh, mining is, well, they were saying mining is, is the evil, you know. The, the, and then the message I was trying to say is that, you know, guess what? We kind of need that to get that land, that, this, that objective we have for sustainability, renewable energies and all that. We need that. So this is how the, how the term came up. What we are doing is um, in the road to sustainability, the first two pillars are awareness and education. We need to increase awareness of, again, why we do what we do, basically why the mining industry exists, how it is impacting our life. We wanna make sure that the general public, the non-mining professionals um, know about this then educate uh, our, our, our public, general public again, about importance of mining and how we need to uh, be aware of that mining is really essential to, to our um, objectives, sustainable objectives. Yeah. With that in, 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 in mind, um, our objective of the mining is the future is to educate kids, six to 16 years old children and um, if say why this this range um, our belief is that they are old enough to understand and young enough to change their or influence their uh, education uh, education this is just before the other uh, college applications right so with that with that objective that mission we are working on children's books for example and uh, there are five actually uh, not one not two five coming end of this year and this is where we will be talking about uh, th those books will be uh, eight to ten pages a lot of colors um, the purpose of this is show that the mining is not as the uh, cartoon show you know i'm thinking about the seven dwarfs with uh, snow white you no know, with picks and axes this is we don't do that anymore. We use really uh, cool gadgets and new industry, new technology. Um, 
we want to show the technology that we are using and explain how it is important, crucial to our day-to-day -day life. So out of those five modules, we'll, there will be talking about the underground mining, open pit mining, of course, two uh, mainstream mining methods. But then we will go on to science fiction a little bit to talk about asteroid mining. Huh. There will be a deep sea mining. Um, and the, my favorite is the, the urban mining, which is a huh. fancy term, basically part of a circular economy, how to recycle yeah. electronics huh. near big cities. So those are the five first uh, books coming up uh, by fourth quarter of this year, by the end of this year. And this is our first initiative for that purpose. Again, educate the 16 job. That's the target. Uh, this, that's the mission. Objective is let's raise awareness. I love it. I'll, that's awesome. Now, I know you, you showed me your framework, which I think is so cool. And it really shows everything kind of in a, in a clear way. Uh, so would you have that available that you could show us? Yes, very quickly. Pleasure. Love it. So the framework we call is AIM framework, uh, acronyms AIM. I'll, I'll start from the middle, then I'll, like, I'll go outside of the, the, the image. Okay. The framework, AIM framework, this is what we came up with. A for awareness of our impact, but also our short, shortcomings. It is important to understand that uh, we're not trying to make um, this uh, unrealistic Un unreal image that mining is all rainbows and unicorns. No, mm -hmm. there's still a lot of work to do, but that improvement also started in awareness. We need to understand what we do well and what could be better. Mm -hmm. Then I for investment in the innovation, technology, and the next generation. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, the chicken and egg relationship the, for the renewable energies, we need mining, mm -hmm. metals and minerals, but to make mining sustainable, we need those technologies back. So really investment in the innovation and technology is absolutely needed yeah. for our sustainable mining objectives. But I also put their investment in the next generation. Very quick story. When I was in university, uh, we had this um, companies come in for, I forgot what that's called. Uh, basically companies come and they express, uh, they show their companies and you can apply sometimes on the spot. Well, maybe one, maybe two mining companies were present there. Yeah. Oil and gas were doing much better job. The sun cores, shells of this world, they were all present. That's fine. Uh, then the other technology companies were there. But the mining companies, they were always a bit the, the, that shy kid, you know, staying yeah. in the corner. You know, they don't want to make too, make too much yeah. wave. So I, I do believe that the investment in the next generation, be it mentorship, programs, mm. uh, coaching on the job is absolutely needed. And the mindset shift is towards sustainability across all levels. This goes into the training of our, from operators and maintainers to all the way to upper management mm. on what is sustainability still, which is a, still a, an obscure concept for a lot of people. What is sustainability? Yeah. Once you understand what it is, then the how it is, how do we achieve that is another question that uh, not many people know how to get there. Yeah. But this M stands for mindset shift. This is where we put ESG in the core business, core part of our business yeah. in our mindset. So the AIM, which comes with the checklist and the different uh, initiatives for each, basically I embedded this in the middle of the circular economy. Uh, the natural resources come, the production, distribution, consumption, recycling, mm. so that, that the reuse, recycle, remanufacture uh, to achieve circular economy, to minimize the waste. Yeah, I see. So in, yeah. in a nutshell, it's the high level uh, aim framework we prepared. I love it. It's, it's a cycle, the cycle of mining with a different, as you said, awareness, investment mindset. So it's a, it's a, it's a shift in the industry to make the most out of those resources while uh, minimizing waste. Uh, as you said, it's a change also from the inside out, but also the culture, right? People who are outside of the industry, culture. so it's successful. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly it. And when we say, you know, one thing I want to make sure that uh, we, 
it's crystal clear. It is not a uh, positive propaganda. We are not saying mining is the well, mining is way to go. Absolutely, I do believe that. But mm -hmm. uh, by all by any means, I'm not saying that uh, we we it's again unicorns and rainbows. No, we still had a lot of work to do. But the improvement, the baseline will start with an awareness of where we are. Beautiful. Now, where can we uh, well, we can check this out and put more detail out. Okay, so there are um, my website alpforainc.com. Mm -hmm. I think I'll I'll send you the, the link also. We can maybe put in this uh, episode. It is a one-stop shop. This is where, um, and it's all about mining things. Uh, all, all things about mining. You'll have uh, the hyperlinks to the Bora Consulting, um, my consulting business, the Greenlight Partners, where we do invest in the green technologies. This is the VC that we, we are uh, launching and the mining is the future. There's gonna be a link in there. The brochure itself can be found on that website, altboreinc.com. And um, I talk about the children books, other initiatives like the VR virtual reality tours of the mines and the refineries and smelters is the next one. We are planning to do short cartoons for basically turn those books into cartoons. This is another of our initiatives, those things can be found uh, via that uh, that website, alboreinc.com. I love it. So alboreinc.com will have a link right underneath this video. And I'm guessing, you know, if, if you get the brochure, then you'll let us know first when those books come out and, and all the other initiatives, right? Yes, yes absolutely. The, 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 again, the books end of the year and uh, the, another book that I'm, I'm writing, uh, the working Work in progress title is the mining is the future, but I'm I may find some another title for that. That's uh, that's going to be a short book, basically explaining uh, our manifesto of uh, why we need to increase awareness of mining, explaining this aim framework. It will be a short book, uh, around hundred pages, and that is also uh, planned to be published end of this year. Awesome, awesome. That yeah. also can be found on that website. Well, there you go. Yeah, we can be part of this movement and just learn more and, and see how it's all related to, to what we do and how we can actually do something, right? We can take action. Yeah. Again, yeah. I sound like a broken record here, but it all starts with awareness. And the one example, just before we end the call, uh, one example I give, I give people uh, who don't know anything about mining is fine he said I'll, I'll show my iPhone here that uh, this iPhone has uh, over 20 type of metals and minerals in it, huh. from aluminium to copper zinc even gold small amounts yeah. but uh, a simple device as this requires 20 different type of metals and minerals then you know we can extrapolate that and think about that the computer I'm using right now all the way to the building we are and the cars we are driving if we just understand the amplitude of our dependence in, in, in this industry, this is going to be a good start. This is all I, I'm, I'm trying to achieve at this point is like, let's explain to the general public basically how our life is intertwined with the mining industry. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's, that's wonderful, Alp, and thank you for bringing the message to the show. And I will definitely have a link to your website and how to connect with you on LinkedIn as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. Take care.